Welcome to our comprehensive guide on the setup and operation of the MDS VET endoscope. This guide aims to provide the operator with an overview of this advanced technology, enabling its effective and efficient use. This is the processor and light source. The endoscope, with the umbilical, gets plugged into the front of the unit. The long stem gets inserted into the larger hole on the bottom. This gets pushed in until it's fully seated. Fill the water bottle halfway between the two indicator lines with distilled water, no tap water, hanging it on the side of the unit. Attach the water bottle to the side of the endoscope's umbilical, ensuring a secure fit. Start with the connector straight up and down, rotating 90 degrees as it's pushed the rest of the way on. Power up the unit and adjust the light settings to the highest level. Connect your laptop using the provided USB cable and launch the debut video capture software. Alternate video outputs include a YC output, an AV output, and a DVI output. DVI is compatible with HDMI, so you can connect directly to any monitor with a HDMI input. If the scope image doesn't appear, switch to the Capture Device tab. The laptop sees the processor as the capture device. This is the capture device showing up on the screen of the computer as the scope image. Perform a white balance by placing the end of the scope into the white balancer and holding the WB button. Other adjustment settings include Enhancement, which controls the sharpness of your picture. Iris control, allows the amount of light that's coming into your camera. White balance, adjusts the base white color that the camera bases all other colors from. Automatic gain control, controls how strong the display. The freeze button freezes the image on the screen. The back button will scroll through the last four images. Push freeze again to go back. HPE stands for hemoglobin enhancement. This button enhances and defines vascular tissue the pump button pressurizes the system so that the endoscope has automatic air water delivery through the blue and red buttons. To control the endoscope's articulation, use the right to left articulation wheel and the up and down articulation wheel. Ensure the brake wheels are in the free position for smooth movement. The F on the right to left wheel brake stands for free. To put it in the brake position, move the F back against the arrow. Always move the brakes to the free position so that the articulation wheels turn freely. Use the blue button for air and water delivery. Cover the hole to provide air. Push the button for water. Use the red button for suction. Use the upper black button to freeze the image frame. The same as the freeze button on the front of the unit. And finally, the biopsy port is used for inserting a biopsy forceps or foreign body retrieval instrument. During normal operation, room air is being drawn through the blue button. At the end of the procedure, remove any excess air by activating the suction unit by pushing the red button. Mastering the setup and operation of the MDS VET endoscope streamlines your workflow. We appreciate your attention and dedication to learning. Thank you for watching.